Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you a simple way to achieve some very nice color transitions for your miniatures. This is a miniature from TT Combat's Rumble Slam. I've had it sitting around for a while, so I thought it's time to get it painted. So first, I'm going to begin by using the Army Painter Speed Paint Dark Wood to cover all the fur. Then I can see what areas I'm left with skin-wise and pustules so we can get them blended. For the next step, we're going to use three speed paints. We're going to use Peachy Flesh, Algae Green and Charming Chartres. I'm just going to call this Charming because I know I'm going to mess up the pronunciation quite a few times. We're basically going to wet blend these together with the Army Painter Speed Paint, especially the 2.0, you get a nicer working time with it. So first we're going to start painting the peachy flesh. So pick a small area, if it's got a load of pustules around it and everything perfect. So start putting the peachy flesh down, then take the algae green, and while the peachy flesh is obviously wet, we're blending around the bottom of the pustules as we go round. And then for the actual pustules, clean your brush off and go in with the charming colour for the actual boils. That will give you the, the boils a bit more of a lighter colour to make them stick out more. Then just work your way round the miniature, just small areas at a time. Don't put too much of the peachy flesh down because if it does start drying and you go over it, you can lift part of the speed paint. And it's like popping a blister, you get a really thick sort of tide mark, which is what we want to try and avoid. So just by working in small areas, keeping everything quite close, it'll be fine. So again, just put the peachy flesh down, go in with the algae green, and just sort of, I sort of stippled it slightly in between just to try and mix them that way. And the good thing as well, if you were to do this one after another, so put the peachy flesh down, let it dry then put the algae green, you'll get the tide marks. Where one speed paint's dried, you put another one, then you get a harsh line. By doing it with its wet, you should avoid having any of the tide marks, which should give you a good base then. If you wanted to go back in and highlight even further, it gives you that opportunity. But it's just a simple way that you can get it within a couple of minutes, you've got a nice blend. If you do want to go in on any of the areas and give them a second coat, make sure the speed paint is 100% dry. So leave it a little while before you go back in. The best thing to do if you've noticed you've missed a little bit, just let it dry and then go back, finish a few other areas on the model. By that time, you'll be able to come back in and just touch up any bits you've missed or any bits that you just want to give a second coat to. Once you finish the skin and all the pustules and you're happy with it all, all that's left to do is just fill in the few other bits on the miniature that's left. The next step is we're going to take Dusk Red and we're going to paint the cloth that's on his hand and also the rat's tail as this is sort of like pinky red and I didn't want the tail to stand out too much so I thought let's go for sort of reddish sort of colour, make it look a bit better to keep it sort of with a darker feel of the miniature. Next, I'm gonna take some Army Painter Speed Paint Blood Red, and I'm gonna paint all the cylinders. So he's got two on his back, and he's got three on his head. In the actual box art of this, they're actually green to look like pus and things like that, but I thought red contrasts quite nicely with the green. And also, it just looked like blood, like this is the only thing that's sort of keeping him alive. He's basically, he's having it pumped around his body by these machines that run his back to keep him alive because he's so infected with the plague and boils and disease it just looked cool i just thought i'd go with this way but if you want to keep keep to the box art then go with green for all the pipes that connect the tanks around him i'm going to use the army painter speed paint metallic broadsword silver very nice very simple the speed paint metallic range covers very well literally one coat covers nice and simple and smooth to apply the final speed paint we're going to use is Brownish Decay and we're just going to cover the claws, he's only got a few, and also his teeth just to give him that sort of rotten, yellow, unsort of cleaned look to him. The final thing we're going to do for this is to darken down the metallic parts. So we're going to take some Grim Black, one part Grim Black and three parts Speed Medium to make a wash. 
I don't have any washes, so I use speed paint because I can mix whatever color I want by doing this with the speed paint medium. So, and that would sort of act like a known oil and just go into all sort of the recesses of the silver, just darken it down. And yeah, that's the sort of final bit on the miniature. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, enjoy your painting and keep it simple. <laughs>